you guys can actually eat breakfast in the Enchanting Garden in the mornings. They offer it every morning from 8.45 to 10.30, I think. Um, it's pretty much the same buffet as Cabana. is a little bit more limited, um, but it's way less crowded. And then you, of course, get the table service. You can have um, fresh coffee, orange juice, whatever you want. So it's a nice way to have breakfast away from the crowds. Definitely suggest it. All right, so we are inside the Enchanted Garden. We actually had breakfast at Cabana's today, but we had breakfast here yesterday. I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys around a little bit. As you can see, it's a totally different atmosphere in here from Cabana's. Kind of a nice switch up. And the gravy, biscuits and gravy, which they had in Cabanas this morning. They have literally all the same food. Oatmeal station. Roots. Just got your fruit station. And then everything that was on the other side again. All the cured meats, cheeses, everything like that. All your toppings for your salmon, pastries. Donuts are here. Of course, you have the the Mickey waffles. We got Mickey waffles, oatmeal, bacon, eggs. Cabana's breakfast. They have gravy, which is a huge weakness of mine. I'm about to make a little creation here. Been wanting to try this for a while. Got the donut breakfast sandwich. Mastered it. Really hard to pick it up. It's actually really good, yeah. to go. There's your gravy at breakfast. You can make it for lunch and get a chicken tender. I'll dip it in the gravy because that's like my sweetness. Oh yeah. Totally worth the effort. same grouper that they serve at the uh, pirate night dinner on the buffet and some really awesome short rib too so you're just called fab huh that short rib fab fab <laughs> it is fab it's what your grandma would make yeah it's not bad no it's not bad but it's just not really good not really any sugar. Mm. You want to yeah. try this? Huh? Don't care much for cream puffs. Why did you get them? <laughs> if I wanted it to be Italian, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. 
More better to get it than Luigi's. This is pretty cool though. They actually do a pizza of the day where a flatbread. Last time I had Stromboli's flatbread. It's really good. It had uh, little chunks of butternut squash on it. Hey guys, so down here in the district, for anyone who doesn't know, late nights they actually go ahead and have this hot food bar. They get it all all filled up with some awesome snacks. Like last night we had mini beef empanadas, we had mini sandwiches, um, chicken wings, all kinds of stuff. So definitely check that out. Okay, they're calling them mini beef turnovers, but we all know that that's literally an empanada. I don't know why they're doing that. It's like, stop playing. Shrimp one time. Oh! That shrimp wonton is good! Not what I thought. Mini pizza? So good. Bagel bite. Literally bagel bite. And enlarged bagel bite. Not a bad thing. Steak. Well, the steak thing's pretty good. Yeah. This thing has like a horseradish something on it. So what is that? Pencil. Spoily, it would be to spoil like I just wanted that one bite, but I don't think Yeah, I don't think I'll have any more of it. Yeah, if I could have spoon, I could have Yeah, I'm not feeling it. Spoon. Holy cannoli. We got a Philly. Oh, this actually looks pretty good. Like we're We went to uh, the show earlier, Believe, 
which is really awesome. It's a really good show. The only one that I like better than that is the Beauty and the Beast show, because you literally can't beat it. Um, and they were telling us some fun facts. So on this four night cruise, uh, they went through 15,000 chicken tenders, 22,000 ice cream cones, and shit, I really can't remember the last one.